All right, I Sorry. promise I'm not going to get this wrong, but the L.A. Chargers are on the clock here. Uh, with the uh, seventh overall pick, if you look at the Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers. Looking at our ticker, it says LAC. I thought it was LA Clippers for yeah, a second. There you go. It's still well, weird. Yeah, we Los Angeles Chargers right They're there. They're going to play in the StubHub Center yeah. in front of 35,000 fans. Exactly. So here we go. Uh, the uh, Chargers needs cornerback, Dane. Boy, we're right on that. we got an Ohio State kid sitting right there waiting for him. They're sitting there. Maybe, maybe get the best corner in the draft. Cornerback. Free safety, strong safety, offensive tackle, guard, defensive end, and wide receiver. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but two players really stick out here. Jonathan Allen, yep. uh, go defensive line, back-to-back -back years. You got Bosa last year. Add Allen to that mix. Who's a new defensive coordinator? Gus Bradley. Right. Put Jonathan Allen as a three technique in, in, in uh, their new scheme for the Chargers. I love the fit. I think that'd be a home run. But Malik Hooker, it gives you, uh, you know, the – they were missing Eric Weddle last year. Yeah. Uh, and, and that was a big presence in their secondary that that was just – it was clear how much they missed him. Give him Malik Hooker, and then you have that safety that can be that ball hawk and uh, uh, bring something extra to the Chargers secondary. Well, they like I say, the Chargers uh, clearly – their offense, pass offense was eighth in the league. Their run offense was 26th. Pass defense was 20th, and run defense 10th. So numbers not terrible – Interest, on defense. Interesting tweet from Adam Schefter, who just said, looks like an early wide receiver run, which is he referring to Corey Davis? Which, that's not a run, that's, though. No, that's not a run. That's not, not a run. run. If it would be a run if there would be... That's one player. One player. So what's he trying to tell me? Well, I tell you what, with the Chargers, yes, they have Keenan Allen, but he hasn't been able to stay healthy. Not healthy. They need that's, speed. Yeah, they that, do. That's a team that really, and really lacks who's, speed. Who's your quarterback? Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's Philip Rivers. And Felipe how, Rios. How many years does he have left? Yeah, I mean, this is yeah. Yeah. this is kind of an all-in, chips in the middle of the table. And the general manager, he's on a short lease. Oh, sure. He needs to win now. Yeah. Tom Telesco. Yeah. Uh, or he he's going to be gone. I mean, they. It, this is a situation where maybe you do try to win now. and New head coach, though. Figure, well, yeah. yeah. It, you, but you figure, we're just going to outscore you. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, do you think speed? Do we think this Or do you is, think size? Yeah, I mean... If this is a receiver, I don't know how they pass on Lattimore. I mean, I mean, I, yeah. I really, I mean, I, I, I kind of like Dane's idea with Allen to be. If I'm making the pick, that's the card I'm turning in. I think. Well, the, the thing about it, though, if you think about Verrett and Hayward, are solid. There, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But do they do they really need a thir third corner? Is that the most important thing, or do you turn around and say, you know, th they need upgrades at, at the free and strong and that's where Hooker, if you feel good about your two corners, why would you not take Hooker here? I, that's know? that's I, Malik Hooker, to me, would be the pick. If I'm the general manager for the Chargers, I'm taking Malik Hooker, the number two player on my board. Uh, the way he can impact a game, absolutely. Yeah. I think he could really help that the secondary, and he helps out everyone on your, on your defense. So yeah. uh, and what I mentioned about Eric Weddle no longer being there, the presence at safety that they've been missing – I think Malik Hooker can be that guy. And just like Corey Davis, who we have not seen, Malik Hooker, we have not seen him this pre-draft process, but that would not scare me at all. The medicals have, have come back clean. Uh, I mean, take the best player. And to me, that's Hooker. So what was what was Schefter's tweet? He said it looks like there's an early run on wide receivers, which... Could he be, could he be saying that... All right, who's, all right, now, Dane talked about this on our needs. Dane talked about this one. Keenan Allen not staying healthy, though. Is Schefter foreshadowing something? Well, that's, that's, I, mean, it, it, I mean, it sounds like foreshadowing speed, to me. But yeah. speed is, is, is no Mike way. Williams speed? There's no well, way this could somebody be. Like that. I mean, he's, no. the next best, he's the next best receiver on the board, isn't he? What about well, that other guy? John Ross. John Ross. But go. what But what Mike Williams is, he brings a lot that's similar to Keenan Allen. Size, not, yeah. not a burner, yeah. but size. You kind of you know, give him a chance, and he's going to come down with it. God, he was good, though, in that, uh, oh, that I think championship he'd be, game. He'd be, the, I think, the perfect uh, wideout for Phillip Rivers. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a guy where you don't always need separation. He's going to, he's going to force feed it to you. Okay, Pick the in. pick's in, but if it was – if you're going – I mean, it could go corner, handicap him. Corner, strong – or corner, safety – or wide receiver. I, I mean, right, the pick's in. Let's go to the commission. I'm sorry. He'll tell us. In the 2017 NFL draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select 
Mike Williams, wide hey. receiver, Clemson. Don't doubt Schefter. Schefter, Schefter knows. knew what he was doing. Schefter knows. <laughs> That's what a, if I would have told you that we'd have two receivers off the board before we have two running backs? I'm or two quarterbacks. And see, that's something that we were talking about in the pre-show. What about the wide receivers? Yeah. Remember, we were thinking, could the wide receivers be the one that slide down the board and drive players to you? So. And hey, here and you know, I'm not trying to like poke at Dane because I think it's a sound it, it's a sound point, but you know, you're saying. Tennessee doesn't need to get their playmaker at five. Well, maybe they did because yeah, they're, they're very, going. Very true. And, I mean, maybe O.J. Howard hangs around or John Ross, but, you know, might as well, if you really love Corey Davis, you might as well get him at five instead of hoping he waits waits around for 13 more. Dan, give me a thumbnail on Mike Williams. He's not a burner like we, we talked about. He's, he's a four or five athlete. He's not going to create his own separation. But what he does do is he creates separation in the air. You know, with his ability to that expand his catch radius, pluck the ball, high point, uh, it's just it's tough for defensive backs to cover that because you just and he bailed out Deshaun Watson on a number of throws uh, on, when you watch him on tape. I mean, he's just he is a matchup nightmare for most corners, especially under six foot. Uh, I mean, we're watching him right now. Just the back shoulder throws looks like AJ Green out there with the back yeah. shoulder. A, a great feel for that route. A lot to like about this player. I'm, I'm still very surprised to see him go here at seven. I did yeah. not. I did not see did see that coming. Yeah, it didn't feel like that he was a polished route runner. You no. know, that's something. You know, you talk about the big body guy in those. I mean, but you see him go get that football. I mean, that's that's something that you know he will do. The slants and ends and things. I mean, he will go and get it, and he will make some incredible catches. I mean, he will make some highlight catches. Absolutely. So. Uh, so Mike Williams, the wide receiver from Clemson, uh, he's heading to Los Angeles and the Chargers. And like Dane says, he likes to fit with Phillip Rivers. Say what? That might be uh, the early. Uh, I guess we're looking at early offensive rookie of the year candidates. You got Fournette in Jacksonville, who they're going to give him the rock. You look at the situation with the Chargers and Phillip Rivers, who wants to win right now. Uh, you know, so I think Mike Williams is going to see a lot of targets. And then, of course, you have Corey Davis with Marcus Mariota, who there's no one on that wide receiver depth chart keeping Corey Davis from starting. I mean, I think we have three legitimate offensive rookie of the year candidates very early. Yeah, 